Well, hello, Aries. Let me get adjusted here. Uh, 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 getting adjusted, getting adjusted. Here we go. All right, there we go. Well, hello, Aries. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So, welcome or welcome back, Aries, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing marvelously. <laughs> all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So, Aries, use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. And we got your past, present, and future oracle cards out there. Now let's get your tarot. I have shuffled and cut all of the decks before starting the readings, and so, yeah. So there is your past, present for Aries. What is the present for Aries? All right, present tarot card for Aries. What is present right here? right on top and future for Aries this one right there beautiful all right so you got two for your past and uh, yeah I'm excited I love the way that these decks have communicated together and so I hope you have enjoyed it as well Aries because yeah I love the way that these decks speak Ooh. So Aries, your spirit animal for this week is the eagle. Spirit has your back. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Look at you and all your cute little eagleness. Look at your cute little crown. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, you are protected. And look, I was looking at the feet and I see like, you know, the talons on the feet. Like, yeah, you are super protected Aries and your spirit guides are coming through and just wanting you to know that um, they have your back they are always around you all you have to do is reach out to them if you feel the need to but yeah spirit is right there so send you know send them love talk to them reach out to them they are they're there and so I feel that they just want you to know that <laughs> in your recent past, ooh, in your recent past energy, you have discernment, discernment. Wow, I am loving this. So in your recent past, I feel that you have been learning how to use your own discernment. You have been, uh, yeah, stepping into an energy and like, hold on, I'm going to read from the book just because I'm like, oh man, like this could be so many different things, but I'm just going to read this top part right here in the affirmation. So discernment, take care in your choices. Now look carefully and judge wisely. There may have been something difficult to see something that has been obscured, but now it has been revealed to you examine it closely. I take my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. That's the affirmation. I take my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. So yeah, that is what I pretty much like what I'm feeling that you have been in your recent past energy learning how to use your discernment. So it's like you see how the clouds here are covering her eyes. It's like you had to learn without seeing how to trust your own intuition and how to, you know, trust your own discernment. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that, Aries. You're the first one that has gotten this card out since I've been using this deck. So super beautiful energy. Let's see what tarot cards come have come out with your discernment. Ah, so you have the sun and the knight of wands. Oh my gosh. So positivity and immaturity. So in tarot, the sun is 
the happiest card in the deck. It is the most positive card in the deck. And if the sun ever comes out, then that outshines, like literally outshines any other card. So when the sun is out, it is a beautiful and positive energy. So in you learning in your recent past, how to use your discernment. You have shed the old immature parts of yourself because, you know, when we are acting out of a more immature energy, we usually don't use our discernment, correct? So I feel that with you learning how to use your discernment in the recent past, that it has helped you to grow. It has helped you to take a step out of the immature and into a new positive version of yourself. So I love it. In your present energy, Aries, you have boundaries. Boundaries, number 12. So in your pot, in your positive, <laughs> I was going to say in your positive energy. So you have positive energy around you. And like I feel this bubble, um, you know, this boundary, it is positive energy around you and nothing that is of a lower vibration can reach you at this time because you have very strong and powerful boundaries up. But I feel those that these boundaries are of the light, like it is a, like a bubble of light around you. And this is because you have uh, gone through this discernment where you have learned how to use your discernment a lot better. And through you, bleh, and through using or learning to use your discernment, you have managed to put up strong, positive, beautiful, healthy boundaries around yourself. And I love it. Your tarot card hmm, is the king of wands. You went from the knight of wands to the king of wands in your present energy. So you went from immaturity to passion in your present energy so yeah you are you have these very strong boundaries up because you know you are <clears throat> leaving space for the things that you are passionate about leaving space for like it's like making room for things that make you happy, letting go of, uh, you know, like letting go of like the past and things that we can't control and stepping into a passionate energy where you have these strong, healthy boundaries in place. And uh, yeah. And like what I'm also feeling is like there's been a maturing, obviously. So it's like you went from the knight who was immature to the king who is very passionate and this is wands energy which is fire energy which is your element and you know like this is the king of wands is the perfect card for to represent aries so yeah the king of wands that's your fire element and the king is the most mature of the <clears throat> yeah well the king is the highest court card other than the emperor and empress. So, yeah, I love it. Stepping into the future. Ah, uh, stepping into the future, you have peace. Peace. So, moving forward, Aries, you will be moving into the energy of peace. You are finding your peace because of all the work that you have done. You have gone through your discernment and you have set your healthy boundaries and you are now moving into an energy of peace, peace with yourself, peace with your uh, world around you, just, you know, being in the energy of uh, just chill, man, <laughs> that's what I hear, just like, just chill, like, you're cool, you did it, like, give yourself some time, so that's amazing. Your tarot card is, wow, the nine of cups fulfillment the nine of cups fulfillment yeah aries 
in your future energy, you are at peace and you are fulfilled. And whatever that means for you, however that means, but you have nine full cups here and that is very fulfilling to you. The nine of cups is like the wish fulfilled energy and that is exactly what you find yourself in in your future just peace and fulfilled like think of like I'm just like feeling that energy and it feels so good so wow what a beautiful reading Aries I hope you all found something that you resonate with and if you did please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already <laughs> thank you so very much for being here Aries I love you I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one